Hi there. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the face behind the Twitter account that prepared Canadian. A couple of days ago, I made a comment on a tweet sent out by Marty up north regarding the fact that the vaccine mandates were still on the liberal website uh, as part of their platform. I got a lot of criticism for that. I got some praise, but I got a lot of criticism for that. So let me address that here and now. There were some folks who came on who purport to be foreign American-based programmers that have no skin in the game, even though their profiles claim to be very democratic and liberal in nature. They still claim to be nonpartisan on the issue. However, one programmer in particular pointed out that the date I referred to, showing that the page had been modified, was in reference to a font file. And while he may have been correct on that particular point, he missed the mark on a lot of other ones. Updating a website is a constant endeavor. Now, could you imagine the number of updates that a liberal government would have to instruct their programmers to perform on a website the size of liberal.ca? It must take days to make some of these uh, adjustments. And I could only imagine that several adjustments per day are made. Now all programmers see a very narrow code-based view of things, that a font file was updated and it means nothing, or that some kind of theme feature, a color scheme or a palette or something else was installed, and that means nothing. Well, here's the problem with that theory. And while the liberal government is currently updating that file and other files, font files, color schemes, you name it. It's a constant back and forth. These websites are updated regularly for styling issues, such as fonts, colors, things of that nature. But the point of everyone seems to have missed that has criticized me for pointing out that date is the fact that Regardless of the number of times someone has gone in and updated a font or changed a color or done something else cosmetic to a website, the content of that page was never changed nor removed. Yes, it is a remnant from the 2021 platform. That was never in dispute. The issue being taken with this right now is the fact that it remains there. And it remains there while the government, or the Liberal Party, this point is one and the same, is instructing programmers to update fonts, change colors, make styling changes. The content has remained the same since 2021. Keep that in mind. The Liberal government is not changing or removing that from policy. Further than that, another tweeter put out a recording made with a discussion with a liberal uh, constituency office in which the person at that office confirmed that, yes, indeed, the liberal government is still considering vaccine mandates for travel, for employment in the federal service as policy. Now, to those people who say that there are no more mandates, you're incorrect. The government has simply paused them. They have not been removed. They can be brought back at any time. And the Liberal government made that abundantly clear when they put them on pause. So to all those that kind of missed the point, I hope this clears it up that yes, the dates that were modified could have been and likely were modifications to minor cosmetic issues on the website. However, keep in mind that the government has never instructed anyone, any programmer, any coder, to remove or change the content in regards to having a policy aimed at mandating COVID-19 vaccines. I'm the Prepared Canadian. Remember, be prepared, Canada. Tough world out there.